Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to capital projects to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is to know nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. If you like this video, please leave me a like below down in the comments and hit the subscribe button to um, know when future videos are coming. If you didn't like this video, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always open to feedback. And if you have any other suggestions of uh, videos that you would like me to react to, please let me know down in the comments. Today we'll be looking at another Simpsons clip called uh, Nuclear Inspectors. I was told it was different than the previous one I looked at. Um, this is actually a recommendation. Um, by a viewer, um, nope or no space PE. Thank you very much for your recommendation. I look forward to watching it. Ooh, sleeping on the job with your <laughs> bare foot <laughs> propped up on the control boards. Mmm, that. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, that is not allowed. Um, nuclear reactor operators have a lot more discipline, need to be crucially monitoring uh, important parameters uh, within the nuclear plant. And there's also a dog there. Um, yeah, no pets of any kind are allowed in the control rooms. <laughs> Uh, the return of the green goo. <laughs> like there's a hammock and it's right behind it. Yes, uh, once again, no, no nuclear waste is green and it's certainly not going to be in any inhabited portion of the uh, nuclear plant. <laughs> All waste is uh, safely disposed of in um, the radiological controlled areas and certainly isn't green and certainly is not covered or oozing onto the floor or anything like that. <laughs> Plant destroy. <laughs> um, no nuclear plant or any device that I'm aware of has a self-destruct button. Any, any type of power plant for that matter. Um, there are buttons that do um, critical aspects, like, say, emergency shutting down the reactor. Uh, a lot of them are usually switches, not buttons. But there are certain buttons. Um, any button that you would think twice before pressing usually has a little um, button co cover across it to prevent inadvertent uh, <laughs> pressing of a button you don't want to. And even if there was a self-destruct device, it would not cause a meltdown. Self-destruct device would presumably do a controlled demolition. It has nothing to do with overheating the fuel. Um, once again, if you haven't seen my previous videos, a meltdown is not an industry term referring to fuel overheating or fuel damage. Yeah, more green stuff oozing from the pipes. Again, uh, nothing in a nuclear power plant glows this sickly green. Closest thing to that that does anything like that is radium, but that whole classic scene with radium and the watches from um, the days of Marie Curie. But it's not liquid, and it certainly has no probabilities like that. It doesn't even, it's not even really a... So simulators are a real thing. Um, they're not in a van and they're not necessarily administered by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, but reactor operators and um, senior reactor operators both get trained on the uh, simulator before they get their uh, license. It's a very rigorous process. It takes um, 18 to 24 months to get your license um, in taking exams, um, written exams, simulator exams, um, job performance measures where 
Nuclear Regulatory Commission um, examiners actually follow you around to um, ensure um, you skills are up to snuff. This is actually reevaluated on an annual basis testing in these uh, simulators and crews um, when I was a shift supervisor or crews uh, train regularly typically every six weeks or so various scenarios in simulators just to constantly get better we embrace uh, continuous improvement opportunities it wouldn't be administered or directed by the nrc they would administer some of it but they wouldn't direct it it would be more of a good uh, plant management structure that would advocate for excellence in uh, in operations so this is a bit different but yeah the principle of an of a simulator that looks, smells, tastes just like your normal workstation. That's a real thing. Training, um, not necessarily a college uh, requirement in nuclear physics. Um, I, for one, don't actually have that. I have a in nuclear in degree in nuclear engineering, um, which is more apropos to um, operating the facility than one in physics. Um, but you're not actually required for a reactor operator to have a four-year college degree. Um, an associate's degree is enough, but you do have the extensive 18 to 24 month training program, which includes many, many hours in the simulator, many, many hours um, on the job training you will be very proficient at how to run the reactor but not necessarily a college education though many uh, reactor operators do um, and that's certainly helpful to have that to uh, get promoted a more senior position such as a uh, shift supervisor um, a college degree would certainly be helpful but not required <laughs> uh, fitting ending and I love classic Simpsons clips uh, thank you so much for this uh, recommendation it's uh, funny as always but um, not anywhere in reality other than getting the agency's name right the Nuclear Regulatory Commission like I said is actually what the agency is called thank you very much for watching and I'll